Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsorry.com. Today we are going to discuss a topic from plant science that is the life cycle of acaricus, the most common mushroom in our backyard. First step in the life cycle is a fusion of vegetative hyphae or somatic hyphae of opposite mating types. Hyphae of opposite mating types comes in contact as there is no well developed or specialized sex organs in agaricus. Step 2 is the formation of dicaryotic mycelium. Di means two, karyo means nucleus, that is a presence of two nucleus in a common protoplasm without fusion. You can see here red colored and green colored nuclei without fusion. And this is called as dicaryotic mycelium. It divides continuously, forming extensive mass of hyphae just below the soil. Step 3. At maturity, this hyphae forms upright structures or called as fruiting bodies. It is called as basidiocarp. We call it as mushroom. Mushroom, the stalk is called as a stipe and this umbrella shaped structure is called as a pileus. On the lower side of the pileus, there are gills that is lined with basidia or spore producing structures. Step 4. Basidiocarp kills with basidia. At first, the basidium is dicaryotic presence of two nucleus without fusion later this nuclei fuse to form diploid nucleus inside basidium these diploid nuclei undergo meiosis forming four haploid nuclei later that transforms into basidiospores and this is an enlarged view of the basidium you can see this is a basidium and there is an outgrowth which is called a steric meta at the tip of steric meta four basidiospores are formed these basidiospores are disseminated on falling on suitable substratum, this germinates and half of which form the plus mating type and half of which form the minus mating type, thus completing the life cycle. In summary, in the case of agaricus, vegetative hyphae comes in contact and forming dicaryotic mycelium which profusely, which continuously divide, forming mat of mycelium under the soil that is a prominent vegetative structure. Later at maturity, this dicaryotic mycelium forms fruiting bodies which is called as basidiocarp, we call it as mushroom. On the lower side of the umbrella shaped structure of the basidiocarp, there are gills. Gills are lined with specialized structures called basidia, on which this dicaryotic nucleus fused to form diploid nucleus that further undergoes meiosis, forming haploid nucleus that later transforms into basidiospores. And the basidiospores that is released on falling on suitable substratum germinates and form 50% of plus strain and 50% of minus strain, thus completing the life cycle. You are with biologyexamsforay.com. Thank you so much for your support.